Hey guys, welcome to C Sharp Language Basics tutorial from .NET School. Now, this is a very basic tutorial in order for you to understand and start development in C Sharp language, and it it's targeted for absolute beginners. If you are an intermediate programmer, you can easily skip this video. Now, you will need a uh, IDE called as Visual Studio for the start of development in C Sharp language. I have recorded a bonus video for this tutorial so you need to check it out before you start with this tutorial. That video explains where to get Visual Studio and uh, what are the basic things covering in Visual Studio. So you, you need to check out that video first. So let's start with C Sharp. Now C Sharp is a general purpose type safe object oriented programming language. Now object oriented programming is a very important part of C sharp language. Now C sharp is evolved after C++ and Java. So uh, it has uh, overcome all the shortcomings of C++ and Java. Microsoft has designed C sharp just keeping in mind the benefits of C++ and Java, but also avoided the shortcomings of C++ and Java. And it's also very easy and fun language to learn. Now C sharp is also a strongly typed language that means if you have a method which returns integer data type so you cannot make use of that method among string data type or some other data types. Now all these points will be very clear once we start looking into demos of C sharp tutorial. So let us first write a simple C sharp program to understand it line by line. So let's move to Visual Studio. Now here this is the IDE of Visual Studio and it is a very simple program which has a class called as program class and which has a method uh, main method and it just gives me a simple implementation console dot write line hello C sharp that means it will write hello C sharp in my screen. Now this class methods console class each and everything will be covered in the later video sessions so this session is just for writing a program make, making you familiar about the c sharp terminologies and displaying the value to the console or displaying the value to your screen so let's try to run this program And you can see nothing has happened actually it did happen but it just the screen just flashed uh, in front of us for a moment of one second or half a second just take a look yes you can see the black screen for a millisecond that's because we are just writing to console we are not stopping the console to go away and in c sharp we do it like console dot read line we, are, we must read the console also. So we, we must write this console.readline method to stop it, stop the console from going away. So I'm just writing it again and here it goes. It's, it shows me hello C sharp. So I have written my first program in C sharp. And now let's understand this uh, program line by line. Now what is this? This is a namespace system is a namespace and what this using keyword is doing it is allowing us to use this system namespace into our program so this is namespace now this is a way of writing comments in c sharp the double slash it it doesn't affect my program anyway if I write anything after this double slashes I can write anything my program won't be affected so this is uh, this is system namespace and I am using it in my program using using keyword so what happens if I remove this thing see my program is not able to identify what is console class that means the screen what uh, we were getting when we were running the program cannot come in front of us because the console class is present in system namespace and I am not using that system namespace. 
द मोमेंट आई रिमूव दिस कमेंट माई कंसोल क्लास कम्स बैक सो नेम स्पेसेस आर बेसिकली कलेक्शन ऑफ क्लासेस सो इन दिस सिस्टम नेम स्पेस आई हैव मेनी क्लासेस सच एस कंसोल जी सी क्लास वेरियस टाइप ऑफ इंटरफेसेस एटसेट्रा सो इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी टू यूज दिस सिस्टम नेम स्पेस इन स्टार्ट ऑफ द प्रोग्राम यू कैन ऑलवेज कमेंट इट आउट एंड डू दिस लाइक this console sorry system dot console so you can use fully qualified name to use console class system dot console but that creates a overhead if you have a big program you cannot write system dot console each and every time this will create a headache for you so let's try to un let's uncomment it and remove this system from here and use console class always now this is the namespace which contains our class that means what whatever the custom class that we have made is been contained into this namespace so as i have told you namespace are collection of classes so this namespace contains this class that means my program class i can also have many classes inside this namespace say class my class वन और माई क्लास टू एटसेट्रा एंड सो ऑन सो आई कैन नॉट आई कैन हैव ए कलेक्शन ऑफ क्लासेस इन साइड दिस नेम स्पेस एंड यू कैन सी दिस नेम स्पेस इज बीन जनरेटेड द मोमेंट आई क्रिएट ए सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट सी शार्प लैंग्वेज बेसिक्स इज द नेम ऑफ माई सोल्यूशन एंड सी शार्प लैंग्वेज अंडर स्कोर बेसिक्स is the namespace for my project so this is my custom namespace which contains all my classes whether uh, whereas this system is the system namespace which contains all the classes those are predefined in the system that is console gc etc now this is a class and c sharp we think in in terms of object orientation we think uh, we think each and everything as classes and objects and uh, i will cover this classes topic in a later video session so this is our custom class that means we have made this class so to to imply behavior to class we we need to have method and this is our method static void main this is our method which is static that means we don't have to create a object of this class to call this method and this i will cover in a later video session the static keyword and this main method returns void that means it does not return anything it just writes here uh, my uh, statement to the console so we are accessing the write line method of console class and here we are accessing read line method of the console class so I, how i can get those uh, methods i can simply specify a dot and type w r and i will get right line method and this semicolons and this this semicolon and this braces are the punctuators these braces uh, mark the start of a region and end of a region and this uh, terminates the statements this semicolons uh, my name space starts from here which uh, uh, this uh, curly brace specifies it and it at ends here okay my uh, same as my class program starts from here and it, it ends here now you can my main method it's doing nothing it's just writing to the console so let me try to remove this and perform a operation and then print it to console let's declare a variable of in type integer x 
and then let's try to multiply 15 by 20 and then we will try to print this result into console and then let's try to stop the console from going away or running away let's run this you see the result is 300 now this is my first statement this is my statement 2 now the statements are executed sequentially that means my in my program my first statement is uh, this ex uh, statement is executed and then this statement is executed so what i am doing in here 15 into 20 is uh, I am storing the value uh, of 15 into 20 that is 300 into variable x and this equal to sign is not a mathematical of operator it is the assignment operator that means I am assigning this value to x that means if I write like this don't consider it as a mathematical expression uh, consider it that I am assigning value of 300 into x okay so let's make it back to 15 into 20 and this is a statement 3 so I guess you have understood this simple program and now we should move back to our slides so this is the same program that uh, what we have understood in our example now at the outermost level of program types are organized into namespaces the using directive was used to make the system namespace available uh, available to our application to use the console class and that we have seen if we commented the system namespace we do we were not able to access the console class the c sharp compiler compiles source code specified as a set of files with the .cs extension into an assembly and let's look into that now since we have we have uh, already compiled this program that means we have run the program we have built this program we can also we can look into our assembly so let's open folder in uh, choose open folder in file explorer option and this is the folder structure of my program so let's go to our bin folder and let's go to debug folder you can see this C sharp language basics exe and all of our program all of our program class the uh, custom namespace all are compiled into this assembly and it's a type of dot exe file that means we can start this program by this entry point so let's double click into our exe and you, here you can see it gives me 300 the same result what we got in uh, when we were running the program from visual studio that means if i am running this assembly or uh, i am running this exe our program is executing and giving me the result so let's move back and let's move back to our slides now we have seen the second point now an assembly is the unit of packaging and employment in dotnet an assembly can be either an application or a library now what we have just seen is an application that is it's a exe file it has a entry point now there is an another version of assembly called as library those are dll files so we you cannot double click on the dll file and start the application because dll file doesn't have a entry point now keywords are names reserved by compiler that we can't use as identifiers so let's move back so, uh, so this uh, using class static all are keywords that are reserved by the compiler you cannot use for the custom development or own use say suppose i need to create a class which is called as i want to uh, name this class as static that's the name of my class so you can see the moment i do that i get a error it says a name is now this uh, compiler is treating this class name as static keyword it it cannot differentiate that i am using this static as a class name it's 
expecting me that I am uh, declaring a static keyword in here. So I hope you understood the point. So let's go back. Now punctuators helps demonstrate the structure of the program. These are the punctuate, uh, punct, uh, punctuators we used in our example program. So this curly brace and this semicolon, those are punctuators as I have told you earlier. So this curly braces uh, mark start and end of your region and then this uh, semicolon terminates the statement. So guys, this uh, that's it for this lecture. I tried my best to cover the topics uh, to make you understand for absolute bigness. Well, C sharp is not just a theory, a theoretical language. You need to practice it. The more you practice it, you will understand these concepts very well. So these all things are very basic and we can write a whole book about these basic things. So what whatever was possible for me to cover it in this video, I have tried my best to cover it. If you have any doubts, please leave a comment on the YouTube video. I will try my level best to solve your doubts and queries. So that's it. Thank you so very much and all the best. Happy learning.